Hi my sweet friends, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and it's day eight. Don't hate, meditate, feel great. Let's get started. Hi my friends, today we're going to begin in a nice comfy seat. I invite you, encourage you to lift the hips up on something comfy. So you can take a quick second to get settled in here, either lifting up on a blanket or towel or block or pillow. And I'll give you a second to do that. And when you arrive, just come into a nice comfortable seat and sit up nice and tall. When you get settled in and you're all secure, relax your shoulders, close your eyes, and allow the hands to rest gently on the tops of the thighs or the knees, wherever they naturally lie. And I'll ask you to think about what feels best today, to have the palms face down or to have the palms face up. Begin to notice your breath and feel your sit bones connect downward. Begin to feel your heart lifting upward. And again, relax your shoulders. We'll soften through the jaw here. Soften through the lips. Soften through the fingertips and toes. Give yourself permission to be still. So take care of all your little wiggles and settles. And come into a comfortable seat. This can be quite challenging for some, for most. So just know that this, um, this is part of a balanced practice, meeting and greeting the things that are difficult with a sense of ease and grace and just honesty. Relax your shoulders. Focus inward towards the breath. <clears throat> you might begin to connect to a ujjayi breath. That's a soft restriction in the back of the throat. As you inhale and exhale out. some space in the energy meridians or we call them the nadis, calming the nervous system, and just gently allowing anything that's not serving you to just kind of peel off, slide off, slither away. Use this focus on the breath to help guide you back to you. And nice and easy, we'll draw the palms together at the heart center. And again, inhale, sit up nice and tall and exhale, relax your sweet shoulders. Bow your head to your heart, that mind intelligence to our body intelligence, the heart. Then we'll bat the eyelashes open and release the fingertips. Stay connected to your breath, my friends. Move nice and slow, one foot in front of the other here. I'm gonna walk the fingertips to the center. 
releasing down onto the forearms or maybe reaching all the way out. And slowly releasing back up. And then we'll reverse the cross of the ankle or reverse which foot is in front here and same thing, nice and easy, floating it down. Breathing into the hips and the back body. And slowly coming back up. Taking the hands to the ankles here and bringing the soles of the feet together. So we're kind of doing a moving meditation today. Keep it soft and easy. We draw down through the tops of the thighs here. We lift up through the center channel and the heart. Maybe even tag a little weight in the elbows down again, relaxing the shoulders. Press your feet together actively. Spread your toes if you feel like it. So if you feel like you're just waiting for the next thing here, um, work to connect to this energy. It's lifting up through the center channel. And then this grounding down through the tops of the thighs, the elbows, the shoulder blades. Press away from your sit bones, sit up nice and tall, lift your heart. Then inhale in and on a long exhale. We're going to slowly melt the heart forward. Maybe the elbows press into the inner thighs a little bit here. Maybe you adjust your palm to come a little bit forward. And we breathe into the hips. We breathe into the area of the groin. about that breath today. It's always all about that breath. It's like that song, all about that bass, but it's all about your breath. <sighs> to come up, press into the soles of the feet, press into the outer edges of the feet and the sit bones, and roll up. Bring the hands to the outer edges of the knees, and we bring the soles of the feet together here. So even if uh, the belly doesn't come anywhere near the chest, you can keep a lot of space here. I'm gonna inhale, draw a line with my nose, look up and exhale, rounding in. We take a little private moment here to just wrap the arms around the legs and find this sweet little curvature of the spine. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe into the back of the neck. Notice how you feel here and keep deepening the breath. See if you can really rock out the sound of your breath today. Let that victorious breath be the soundtrack for your practice. Then tuck in the chin to the chest, slowly roll it up. And then we'll send the legs out nice and wide. So you can keep the hips lifted here. Again, move nice and slow. Moving meditation today. Press into the heels. Tops of the thighs draw down. And we sit up nice and tall. This is where it's really nice to have a little support underneath the hips. Cool. Then I'm going to take my left palm to the top of my left thigh or uh, excuse me, top of the right thigh or top of the right hip crease. Sit up nice and tall here. Inhale, reach the right arm up and overhead as I come into a side body stretch. If this is not jiving with you, if this is not meditate is great day eight for you, <laughs> then just do this. So it took me a while to kind of enjoy these, these yoga binds, and this is just a gentle one, but it just may not be right for you. So in that case, bring the left hand over here and find your side stretch. Tops of the thighs are firm. We're still really active, full body awareness. And 
Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, bring it back to center. And we cross on over to the other side. Right palm to the top of the left thigh. Grounding down through the left and right leg, we reach fingertips up and overhead. So really firm through the legs. Oh yeah, and I can feel this in my chest. Find your breath. Notice if you're creating any extra unnecessary tension in the neck and shoulders. Keep it soft and easy. One more breath here. Lift your chest. And exhale back to center. Down through the midline we go, walking the fingertips out. We can come onto the forearms here. If you have that block handy, sometimes it's nice to chill here or here, here. <laughs> Say a little prayer. It's also very cooling, calming to bring that pressure to the forehead, right? So we might come here. But really, you don't need this thing. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can be here. In time, we might be able to bring our forehead to the fists, or maybe even one day to the floor. Never underestimate the power of your breath. Breathe into the backs of the legs. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into the back body. Stay alive and awake through your feet. One more breath here. And then slowly we press into the earth to come back up. Awesome, my friends. Now we're gonna bring the palms underneath the backs of the thighs. Hike those knees up nice and slow. Then I'll use my fingertips to come up into a squat here. So if I have the blanket or the block, I can do a couple things. I can bring it underneath my heels or I can use that block to sit on here. If the heels don't come to the ground, no worries. You can keep them lifted. Everyone lift your chest, your sternum up. Maybe bring the palms together at the heart. So we connect deeply to the breath, to the sensations of the body here. We get down to our roots here. Think about the shape in other cultures. And we do a little postural work here with the breath, inhaling. Imagining the breath traveling down to the tail, to the coccyx. Belly fills with air. You can even feel it in the buttocks. I can. And then on an exhale, we imagine that breath traveling up and out through the nose. Press your elbows, your arms into your legs. Squeeze your legs into your arms. So we sit at desk chairs couches, toilets, all these things that are kind of um, affecting, influencing this posture that brings a lot of fatigue and tightness and ultimately pain to the body. So here in this version of Malasana, yogic squat deep, yogic squat, kind of get back to our roots, days where we um, gave birth like this, ate like this, cooked like this, released like this. And if you're just dying here, you can take breaths, okay? This takes a while to build this practice, but I really want you to get into that deep breath so when you feel like you've met your edge, find that nice, long, smooth, deep breath. You can always be on the palms here. Or seated up on a book or a block just for a little more support. Lots of options. And we'll continue our soft moving meditation by bringing the left palm to the center and inhaling, reaching the right fingertips up overhead. If you can, press that left arm into that leg. If your body allows you to do that, that might be nice just as we open up through the right wing. Maybe we're here today, still working on opening up the chest and the shoulders. In time, we might be able to dial it open, 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 open. Inhale in, spread your right fingertips, reach. And exhale, release back to center and take it on to the other side. Here we go. Inhale now, opening up through the left. So I suffer from a little bit of acid reflux and heartburn, and this is a really nice posture for that. I can really feel it opening up my chest and 
doing some magic yoga work there that I can't even explain to you in words. Find your breath again. Reach the left fingertips up high and then exhale, release. All right, so from here, we're gonna come up onto the heels. I'm gonna, uh, excuse me, come up onto the toes, lifting the heels. I'm gonna press into my palms. I'm gonna dial my knees in towards the center and nice and slow, I'm going to come into a forward fold. So as you can see, my heels landed perfectly on this blankie. That's really nice, kind of restorative, giving me that extra little lift. And I find a little sway here, gentle rock back and forth, back and forth. So staying here a little longer today, really breathing into the backs of the legs, stretching out, maybe walking from side to side, checking in with any tight spots from yesterday's practice or the day before. Anything and everything in between. At this time, if you have anything that's been bothering you, any words unspoken or anything that is not serving you currently, we don't even have to identify it right now. Take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, imagine like a little trap door or something just opening here at the top of the head and just spilling out all the stress, all the worry, this unidentified anxiety, fear of the unknown. I certainly have it, we all have it, tis life is part of life so we just kind of embrace it here in yoga and we practice letting go from your forward fold we're gonna heel toe heel toe the feet out just a little bit wider turning the two big toes in just slightly once again, we draw the left palm to the center and inhale, reach the right fingertips all the way up and around to the top of the left thigh. So you might find this bind here. And then again, as I mentioned before, if the bind is just, we're not there yet, sometimes it's nice to try and then go, okay, checking in. Then we might just reach all the way up. Draw your heart up towards the sky. One more breath. Again, a block here is always nice to lift the earth up to hand and then we'll gently release back to center and switch to the other side nice and slow fill your body with breath with energy Inhale, one more breath. And exhale, we release the twist. Fingertips come to the mat. We heel toe, heel toe it back in towards center, about hip width apart. Coming back through the squat, turn the toes out. We come back. So we have two options here. And just because we're doing the moving meditation doesn't mean we can't do something kind of fun. <laughs> But if you're feeling more restorative today, I invite you to stay here, right here in Malasana. Lifting your heart, seeing if you can find length up through the crown of the head. Chances are we're gonna be here at first and so we're gonna want to slowly connect to the breath to open it up here. Option two would be for a little Bakasana practice. So taking this deep connection to the breath and this presence that you've built up, placing the palms in front of you and beginning to rock gently back and forth. As you do that, you might bring the toes in closer. And then I'll actually turn to the side just so you can see this a little better. And then maybe you lift up and maybe not. Maybe it's new, so maybe don't lift up today. But we keep this calm, cool energy that we've built so far and we take it into our arm balance. This focus, this awareness of the breath, of the back body, we press away from the earth, keep an extension through the crown of the head, breathe in and out. If you have a block, you can use the block to perch up on here a little bit and practice crow. Or again, you might just stay in that squat. 
pointing one toe than the other. So keep playing here. A couple more breaths. This rocking in and out of crow is really nice for beginners just to get a little sense and slowly get the knees up into the shoulders, towards the shoulders. So finish it out wherever you are, a little play time. You can even keep it going, be a rebel. Then we'll meet up with our friends here in our squat. And surely we are ready to release. So we'll slowly bring the fingertips behind us and send the legs out long. Take the thumbs to the hip creases, press them down and away. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, forward fold. Relaxing the weight of the head down. And then wrapping the arms around the legs, the shin, or the outer edges of the feet. Maybe you interlace the fingertips here one day. Breathe deep. Keep the shoulders relaxed and soft. Tuck the chin into the chest, gently unravel. Cool, so from here we're gonna move into one-legged pigeons and then to Shavasana. So um, to do that, we're gonna cross the ankles and come onto all fours. <clears throat> and then from here, we'll inhale, extend the right leg out long, exhale, bring it up and in for your posture. So we keep a brightness in the right foot. We keep a nice awareness through the left leg and we come up off of that right hip and then we can use this blanket or towel that we have handy to pillow the right hip up a little bit. We can use the block to eventually pillow the head. So we have lots of options here for uh, some really nice moments uh, with the breath in one-legged pigeons. So find what feels good. Enjoy the posture. Send breath into the outer edge of that right hip, and you might even find a gentle, gentle rocking back and forth here. And then we'll slowly tuck the chin into the chest, come up, bring your right palm over towards your right foot, and then take a look behind at your left leg. Now, if you're new to the practice, you might just be like, one day, one day I'll grab you. But maybe that day is today and you slowly press into your foundation, use your right palm on the earth, bend that left knee and grab that left ankle. Be really mindful. Maybe, guys, this is like, this was my pose for the longest time. One day. And then one day I was like, today. Find your breath, lift your heart. Take any variation you like here. You might um, be hooking in the elbow. You might be reaching around to grab. You might use your strap, but just keep it soft and easy. Awesome, then gently we'll release. We'll curl the back toes under. And take one downward facing dog here, sending the hip bones, hip points up, sit bones high. Deep breath in. A long breath out and a slow descent back down. One legged pigeon on the other side. Send the left toes out and inhale all the way up. Find your posture. Nice and easy. I feel so mod today with my hair down and the theme of our practice so soft and sweet and yummy. It's great. So same thing here, I can use a little padding to support. Again, it took me a long time to drop that hip, really, truly. So if you're feeling like, <laughs> um, get, a little, get a little cushion. Cushion's always nice. And we find our posture.
Notice how you feel. Notice just the sensations in your body and also your spirit, your attitude, any emotion that comes along for the ride. Stay present. Keep listening. Draw the palms underneath the shoulders. Tuck the chin into the chest. We'll lift it up. Try to avoid the tendency to rock onto that back hip here to look back. See if you can stay centered. That's where that support is kind of nice, just to butt up there, literally. <laughs> and we look back, and maybe we're like, someday. And maybe we're like, today. Stay mindful, stay lifted in the heart. So don't collapse here, but keep it lifted. Use your left palm to support you. That upward current of energy. Take one more breath wherever you are. Even if you're in some day, take a deep, full, proud, beautiful breath in. And then exhale back. Awesome. We're going to actually roll onto the left hip here now. So permission to roll onto that left hip. We swing all right leg around. And we come to lie flat on the back. I'm going to take my blanket with me for a pillow. And I extend the legs out long. Hands rest gently on the belly or the rib cage. And I'm just going to windshield wiper the toes here back and forth. And like, it is what you make it, you know? Sometimes the chaturangas are what we need and the six pack abs. And sometimes we just need to lie down and find our breath and swish wash our toes back and forth like we did when we were kids and just, you know, find a little innocence and just get back to who we really are. I know that sounds kind of loaded, but I, I believe in that. I think that yoga helps. Definitely reminds me of that, because that's what our yoga is all about, getting back to you. Not about the poses, not about the diet or anything. It's all about you. So here we are at the end of our practice for today. I might bring my arms gently out to my sides and I encourage you, I know we're all very busy, but I encourage you to take at least 10 nice, long, smooth, deep breaths here. And then after that, have an awesome day. Namaste.